In the last video, we looked at two-digit numbers times three-digit numbers. <clears throat> Here we're going to look at three by three. So let's take one, two, three, and multiply it by 321, and now we've got a little bit larger. So 321 by 123. And what I'll say in this is um, we're taking both numbers, and in this method, we, when we line them up, and we're multiplying here, sorry, not adding. When we line them up like this, we're really thinking of, of them in terms of their place value. So 300 becomes, uh, 321 becomes 300 plus 20 plus 1, right? And we'll highlight the 3, 2, and 1. That is being multiplied by 100 plus 20, right, plus 3. And we're going to then multiply all these combinations. We'll start with the 3 here, multiply it by the 1, the 20, and the 300. And then we'll take the 20, multiply that by the 1, the 20, and the 300. And then we'll take the 100, multiply that by the 1, the 20, and the 300. And in other words, we have nine combinations to look at here, which are manageable with this method. So we'll start with this digit. Three times one is three. Three times two is six, right? Three times three is nine. Done with the first three combinations that we showed here. Three more to go, uh, six more to go. Now I start with 20. So here I'm gonna put a placeholder, the zero, because I know that 20 times one is really 20. So 2 times 1 is 20. Now we have 20 times 20, which is really 400. Or I think it was 2 times 2 is 4. And you can see I'm putting it in the hundreds place. And then 20 times 300 really gives us, well, 6,000. But I can think of it as 2 times 3 is 6. And there you can see the 6 is falling in the 6,000s place. Now, when I'm dealing with 100, 1 times 1 is really 100 times 1. So that is 100 times 1 is just 100. So really, look at where the 1 should go. It should go here. Because 1 times 100 has two zeros in it. Right there. So when you move on to the third digit, start by putting two zeros down as a placeholder. And if you forget, take a moment to think about what you're doing in this step, which is take 100 and multiply it by 1. Next, we're taking 100 and multiplying it by, by 20, or 20 hundredths, which is 1 times 2, or 2,000. And then 100 times 300. You could think of that as 1 times 3 being 3, or 100 times 300 as being 30,000. And now we've, we've actually are finished with all combinations. But when you break these numbers into pieces and multiply, to find the final answer, you have to add it all back up together. So here in this first column, 3 plus 0 and 0 is 3, 6 and 2 is 8, 9 and 4 is 13, plus 1 is 14, carry that 1, 6 and 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and 3 is all alone, so we're done. The answer now is 39,483. Thanks.